Hi everyone, today's video I'll be showing you how to do some easy uh, great gel gradients using some sponge daubers that I found at my uh, local Texas art supply. You can also do, as you can see here, a, a nice baby boomer type uh, gradient as well. You can do vertical or horizontal gradients with these. And this is um, the three pack that I picked up at uh, Texas art supply. It's from Imagine Crafts. This is a product of Japan. Um, I did pick up another three pack from uh, Hobby Lobby, but I did find that this uh, Japanese brand here is actually slightly better. The sponge is, uh, this is the one I picked up at Hobby Lobby, and I'll show you the difference here in just a moment between the two. They look very similar, um, but the sponge on the Imagine Crafts brand is slightly finer uh, than the crowd, the uh, Hobby Lobby one that I picked up. And I'll try to give you a close up here to see the um, cellular uh, makeup of this is slightly larger uh, than the one on the left, which is the Imagine Crafts, the Japanese version. And uh, this head on it is slightly smaller as well, which I do like. So uh, if you can find the Imagine Crafts one, then uh, this is the one that I would recommend over the other one. The other one works as it works well, but it's not going to give you quite as smooth of a surface. Now I did find the six pack at Joanne Fabrics online. That's the Japanese name you need to look for, and a six pack at the uh, Joanne Fabrics Online cost me the same as the three pack at my uh, Texas Art Supply. So uh, I'll leave a link, of course, to the uh, Joanne Fabrics one uh, for you guys if you're interested in those. But you can certainly find uh, sponge daubers. If you type in sponge fingertip sponge daubers, you'll find them everywhere online pretty much. And uh, they do make beautiful uh, gel gradients and I'll uh, go ahead and show you. Uh, here's the two that I featured in one of my photos that I did with uh, some simple white um, scroll designs. Now, uh, and I also topped these two uh, with a shiny top coat uh, so you can see what they look like shiny. Uh, the one on the left was done with a um, nail vinyl similar to uh, this here and I got mine from Twinkle Tees nail vinyls and I'll show uh, in this video how to do one of those. I'll be showing four different we'll do a horizontal, a vertical, a baby boomer and we'll show that. So the colors that I'll be using for this video are uh, the blue, the purple, the one for the baby boomer and the red. and I find that doing these gradients over a mat is uh, is better than doing it over a shiny top coat and the reason for that is when you do it over a shiny it tends to slip the sponge will tend to slip a little bit and you don't want that you you want to uh, that's gonna give you a, a less smooth gradient so I would recommend doing uh, your gradients over a matte surface using the gel. If you don't have a matte gel polish, you can certainly use a very fine file to buff the surface of your um, either your top coated nail or your color coated nail and make it a matte surface. But again, it, it, it will work best over a matte finish. And of course, I'll leave a link to the Luxa Matte. Uh, this is actually the best matte gel that I've come across so far. It's a no wipe, so there's nothing to wipe. It, it leaves a completely matte surface. It doesn't have um, a satin finish um, like some of the, the ones that you have to wipe a tacky layer off of. Now, there have been 
several people have asked me about gel paints and I, I have several that I've used and several that I like to use. Uh, Moira has their painting UV gel and they also have their artistic UV gel. And I'm, I'm not sure, but I think their artistic UV gel might be a replacement for their painting UV gel. Uh, you'd probably have to ask Tracy over on Facebook, but you can see just how uh, thick this uh, paint is, and it's perfect. It's super pigmented, it's very thick, and it's perfect for this type of uh, gradient application with the sponge. So uh, I'll leave a link to Mara as well. As well. I also like the uh, EMI um, impasta paints and for the samples here I'll be using the crushed violets and I'll be using the Biscay which is the blue. You can see these are thick as well. Not quite as thick as the Moira uh, artistic gels but still quite pigmented. These two colors come from the Royal Tone uh, Fashion Te Texture impasta set. Now. I'll, I'll warn you right now if you want the EMI, I, I think it's a great product, but I, I will always uh, let everyone know that it is ridiculously expensive to ship it to you. So, you know, you've been warned should you decide to purchase these. And another uh, gel that I, I really like is the uh, LV May. This is a, uh, actually, I found this on eBay and uh, very inexpensive but super thick, super pig uh, pigmented and I really do like this gel for very fine uh, line work and because it stays where you put it. It tends to be a little bit stickier than say the EMI or the Moira but it still is, is, a, is a nice gel for uh, gradient sponge to gradient work. So I'll get my samples here and then we'll get started. So for the, our first sample I'll be using um, I've got two coats on the nail here of Twinkle Toes by La Shop and one coat of the Luxa Matte. Again it's a no wipe so once it's cured you just need to move on with your gradient and the EMI Biscay it's a beautiful blue and to apply the polish uh, or the uh, gel paint onto the sponge um, you can take a gel brush and just apply a little bit onto your sponge I like to do it just on the very edge here I don't want to do it all over the entire sponge just the just the bottom part of this Now, once you get, you don't need a lot. You don't want to waste it because you are going to be kind of dabbing this a little bit uh, onto. Um, I use a tile surface. Um, you don't want to go immediately and apply this. It's it's too. It would be a little bit too much. And so I just take my little tile here, and I'm just going to. Um, pounce it a little bit onto the tile to remove a little bit of that excess gel and now we're ready to go ahead and start. I start at the very bottom because it's gel it's not going to give you your best or final saturated color at first you do need to kind of build that up and so I just bring it to the nail and, and just kind of pounce it around, bringing it up a little bit, transitioning that color a little bit lighter as you get towards the center, using that area on the sponge that I didn't use uh, or didn't cover. Uh, you could also come through with a, a clean sponge and uh, just kind of uh, pounce around in that area towards the center and, and uh, kind of lighten that area up a little bit more too if you wish. I'll show you how to do that on the next nail. So here I've done, I've cured that first coat and I'm coming in with a second coat to build up that saturation. I 
and I always remove the excess on my tile before I bring it to the nail. And we cure that layer as well. And I'm going to do a third layer here. And you can see it builds up that color quite nicely. I'm doing a full cure as well between uh, each of these layers because I don't want any of the previous layer to come up or, or attach itself to that sponge. Now you can apply either a shiny or a matte, but I just happen to like how the matte looks over these gradients, so I'll show you what the matte looks like. Now the Luxa brand does suggest 30, uh, 30 to 60 seconds for the cure on this. I find that 60 seconds will give you the most matte finish. So that's what I would recommend for your cure time for this Luxa brand. And this is out of the lamp and you can see just how pretty and that transition of color is uh, for that gradient. And I'm once again using the Luxa matte. Now these essentially are made to be disposable, however if you treat them nicely you can get a lot of uses out of your sponge and I would um, recommend using alcohol for cleaning. That's what I have here in my bottle. It's just some uh, isopropyl alcohol. I'm spraying it onto the head and now I'm just going to blot it onto my paper towel. I don't recommend using um, acetone and the reason for this is the sponges are simply attached with a little bit of glue onto uh, that plastic part that fingertip part by the way those are those are hollow uh, so you, they're meant for you to put your finger into I can't obviously with my long nails but um, that's what why they call them fingertip daubers so you just keep applying your alcohol and, and blotting until it's um, it goes clear on your paper towel. This is one I've used probably for about 12 different nails as I was uh, playing and sampling around. You can see it's uh, some of the more pigmented uh, colors that I've used have stained it. However, um, the, it, it still is a good sponge to use. So you could get a lot of uses out of these if you treat them nicely. So again, just blot, 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 you know, spray more alcohol and blot until it comes out clear. And you will be left with a little bit of staining more likely, but that doesn't seem to affect any of the other gradients. At least it didn't for me. But for the purpose of this uh, video, since I've just sprayed that and it's not dry yet, I'm going to use a new uh, sponge for this next one. So I've done two coats of London Layover from IBD, one coat of Luxa Matte for our next sample, and I'll be using Crushed Violets from EMI. Same application, taking our gel brush, which I've cleaned from our previous one, and applying it to our sponge. And then I'll blot it on my tile and we'll do a vertical gradient on this one showing just how easy that these are to do as well. So if you've attempted to do gel gradients in like a wet a wet uh, comma like trying to combine them when they're still wet uh, you, you know it's not the easiest thing to do. This makes it a little bit easier. So I've cured that. Now we're going to go for our second layer. And I'm going to use that area where I don't have a lot of the paint or any of the paint and go towards the center. Or, like I said, you can take one of your clean sponges and come in in that center area and soften that transition area even more. And you can see how well that works. It's quite lovely. 
And I just want a little bit more saturation there, so I'm doing one more coat. And then we're going to cure that. And now it's uh, ready for our top coat. I'll use another matte top coat for this one. And there's our cured nail out of the lamp. Now for our next sample, I'm going to do a baby boomer nail. I've got two coats of Bedside Aura from IBD with one coat of the matte. And I'll be using the LV May white. And we'll just create a gradient on the tip of the nail to give it that soft French transition look. And now we'll do our second coat. This may take a, um, between th maybe three, four coats, depending on how uh, bright white that you want that tip. I, I think a softer white is actually a little bit nicer. So we sponge all over and then we'll come in with our clean sponge and just soften that transition area up a little bit more. And you can see how nice that looks looks almost like it's airbrushed and now we're ready to fully cure that and give that a top coat uh, on this one I'll go ahead and do the shiny top coat so you can see what that looks like comes out just as smooth as the matte versions And there's our nail out of the lamp. You can see it's completely smooth and a nice baby boomer nail. Now for our next nail, I've got uh, IBD's Luck of the Draw, beautiful class, uh, classic red cream. And again, one coat of the matte. And I'll be applying a nail vinyl. Again, I get mine uh, What's Up Nails and uh, Twinkle Tees are the two places I've got mine. Both are, are quite nice. I've, although I do wish some of them were a little more sticky than others. Uh, some of them aren't quite. Like this one wasn't particularly sticky. I had to really kind of work it to get it down onto that nail. I'm not sure if that had anything to do with the matte surface or not, but um, you do want to make sure that it does have a good contact with the surface when you're doing this, so make sure you get that to stick really well. And I'm going to use my LV May Black. get my tile and get the excess off and come in and do our gradient. This is a cool look with the uh, geometric shapes here. We'll cure that and we're going to take the uh, nail vinyl off should come off relatively easy. I only put um, one pretty good coat on here. And you can see that nice transition from the darker to the lighter. And we'll apply our top coat. I'll do a 
shiny top coat on this and then I'll show you a matte version that I did with some zebra stripes. And there's our shiny nail out of the lamp. And here's a matte version, um, again, that I did with some uh, zebra stripes. And for the baby boomer nail, you can see i uh, got a shiny version and a matte version. Both are quite nice looking. Or you could just leave your gradient uh, alone, or you could simply paint a design over it, whichever you prefer. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the uh, sponge gradient demo. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down at the bottom. I will leave links to every uh, thing that I've used in this video. And uh, if you have liked the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you guys later.